Academy, we have a very different video today here. We have some great insight into the Funko community stuff. You can't get anywhere else. Well, maybe you can if you just ask around. But today we are gonna get into why, oh, it breaks my heart, why people stop collecting Funko Pops. Let's do it! What's poppin' Academy? Hope everybody's having a phenomenal day. I really hope you're having a good day because you're gonna need it because this is a depressing video. We're gonna go over the reasons why people stop collecting these amazing freaking figures. They're part of our lives. How could people do it? We're gonna get into it because there is way more reasons than you guys might think. Now, we used to do videos like this on the Academy before. We did our infamous why Funko Pop collecting is a good addiction to have. We've done other various topics. It's been a bit since we've done one and I figured this was kind of a fun one because I've been talking to other collectors, got some good insight from Kath and herself here from the Academy. Just reasons why people lose that interest in collecting pops. And it obviously happens quite often. People sell in collections all the time. So I have a various list here. I think we have a total of six different reasons why people stop collecting. And I'm gonna tell you, it breaks my heart because I could never stop collecting. Let me just put that disclaimer out there right now. This has nothing to do with me. I will be collecting Funko Pops to the end of time. I love them. They're part of the family here at the Academy. They bring so much freaking hype, you guys know that. Sorry, headphone users. I just, I love them so much. I love every last thing about them, but that's for another video about why we love Funko Pops or why the addiction is so amazing. So we're not gonna get into that today, but let's jump into it. I've been procrastinating enough. Let's get into the reasons why people stop collecting Funko Pops. And Academy, before we get into today's video, let me know down below reasons why maybe you stopped collecting Funko Pops Maybe there's others you know in the community that stopped collecting pops. Let me know down below the reasons why, and we can mourn over it together. Oh, this one for you guys, this one doesn't count too much because I hope no one faces this situation. But I have heard, okay, from before, people on Instagram, you know, I'm not, we're not gonna get into it too much here. This is a dangerous battle, but you know, some significant others aren't the most supportive of it. I've seen it, I've heard people on, on Instagram, you know, that message man uh, popping up like, what am I supposed to do? You know, my so-and-so, you know, they don't, you know, we're settling down, getting married, and, you know, they're only allowing me to get, you know, one pop a week now, and, you know, I have to, we have, we're sharing a bank account now, and we have to have a budget on my pops. Talk about anxiety, okay? That's why Catherine is the best girlfriend in the world. I can collect all the pops I want. She never says a thing. She brings me hype for them. She buys them for me for my birthday, for Christmas, for like special occasions. Okay, I love it. I'll never have to to face that, but some people do. So I don't want to get too much into that, but that scares the living you know what out of me that that actually happened. So some people also stop collecting because their significant others don't support the collection. Ah! So number one, they need money. Very simple, you could really say that about any collection, so that's not exclusive to Pops, but it's honestly a really good one because some people collect things, guys, you know, there's tons of different collectibles, and they kind of just sit and hoard and they don't gain much value and people just want to get rid of them. That's not the case with Pops. You could buy one, you know, you bought one two, three years ago for 10 bucks, could be worth one, $200, if not more, could be worth 50 bucks, could be all over the place. These things are honestly like an investment. I don't care what anyone says, okay, guys, they are, okay? Just look at them. But people sometimes just, you know, they need money, they need to sell their collection, you know, they need to, something happened to their car, they're buying a house, you know, whatever, they got kicked out of the house, I don't know, could be a lot of reasons. But for example, like an estimated collection here, my collection, all right, is worth, maybe I won't get this, but according to PPG, it's worth about 50 grand. Now, yes, if I sell that all, you know, to a big company, I'm not gonna get exactly 50 grand. Some people have $5,000 collections, they could sell quick, make a couple grand, you know, pay off something. I actually had a buddy that was going to a wedding. He had a, probably about a $2,000 collection. He was looking for, you know, spending money for his suit and everything, and just all the expenses of the wedding. And he sold his collection to go to the wedding. I couldn't believe it. He got $1,000 quick. He just was like, I'm not that much into collecting. I wanna sell some of my, um, you know, pops and make some money. So that's one reason, it, you know, quite simple. Now, the reason number two here, and this is one that I think a lot of people face, this also has to do with money. Number two, it costs too much to keep up, and that is so true. For me, I'm a completionist, so it's very annoying, you know what I mean? There's so many, every single MCU set that comes out, DC, Pops, Pokemon. I like to have 
everything. So it really does add up. I mean, even if you're buying each pop for face value for $10, some sets have 20 pops, some have 10, some have 30, some have 40. Look at Infinity War and Endgame, how many of those are. Those sets cost a lot of money to complete. So some people, they just kind of stop collecting because it's like there's just too much to get. It costs too much money. Some pops, they really, really want to go in for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. The flippers entered the market, you know, instead of getting it for $15, you got to go pay $100 online. So that is a big reason why people stop collecting pops is just because it just costs too much to keep up. Now these next one guys, this is what really breaks my heart. We're gonna get into the passion of Funko Pop collecting and what that means. I mean, you guys know, you know, it's, it's, it's like a lifestyle at this point. It's, it's, it's a hobby, it's amazing. The pop for me, I, I just love everything about it. So I would never lose the passion, ever. It's never gonna happen Academy, don't worry. I will, I'm here for the long run, I'm here for the long haul, all right? But a lot of people do lose the passion, and that's kind of what happened to Kathleen at the Academy. I had her explain to me a little bit one day, just so you know I could feature her in this video a little bit. So what I mean by losing the passion is, and this is really what Kathleen's reason alone was, why why she kind of stopped collecting, and I think a lot of you guys probably agree with this, is that Funko just, they came out with too much. You know, when Pop started coming out years ago, there was not that much to collect. There was, you know, easy to complete lines. Now the variants of certain Pops and the exclusives are through the roof, okay? A great example here with Pokemon. You get a Pikachu, okay? You get a common Pikachu. Now you're gonna get a flocked Pikachu. You're gonna get a 10 inch Pikachu. You're going to get a diamond Pikachu, okay? Glow in the dark is probably around the corner. And then you're getting other sculpts of the Pikachu. You have a grumpy Pikachu. You have the waving Pikachu. You have the target exclusive Pikachu. So there's so many different variants. That's just for Pokemon, never mind anything, everything else. So that's kind of what happened with Kevin. She loved collecting when we started back in 2016, guys. But over time, just, you know, certain lines she's collecting, they just produced way too much of, you know, the same certain sculpts. Look at the chromes. You got a Thanos pop, and then you get six chromes for it. Same with the Hulk. It's just too much to collect. And, and even in the latest example with Aang, she loves Avatar, okay? And we got this awesome Aang from the Funko shop. And then, you know, they come out with the same one, but it's metallic and it's only to Funko Hollywood. So obviously you could pick and choose, you know, what you want to get. You don't have to get everything. You could just say, let me just get one of the two. But it does kill a little bit of the hype when they come out with so much stuff. It becomes overwhelming. And people just are like, you know what, I've had enough with the Funko Pops. And that's how some people can honestly stop collecting. They lose the passion. Now this next point here also has to do with losing some of the passion for collecting Funko Pops, but it's for a different reason. Now I was talking to some other people in the community on Instagram, and one reason they said they really stopped collecting is back in the day, just the hunt for going for some of these pieces and these limited pieces, you know, 2,500 piece pops, 1,000 piece pops. Heck, you know, we've seen pops that are limited to 40 pieces, freaking 24 pieces. Very, very limited items. Now, some people love collecting things just for the limited piece count, and I agree. One reason I love Funko Soda is I just love seeing that limited edition piece count on it. It's awesome, it, it builds the hype, okay? I could not agree more with that. So Funko has really shied away from that. When we started collecting, guys, us back in 2016, never mind all the collectors back in, you know, 2011, 2012, all this stuff way back then. They had some really limited piece counts, okay? They had, like, when I, when we started collecting, they had 3,000 piece counts dropping on the Funko shop, 2,500, 1,000, you know, there was some really, really good pops to go after. Now, they totally stopped that, so I think for a lot of collectors, that kind of kills the hype for them, because a lot of people just love it for the count. And, you know, people make fun of that all the time. They're just like, oh, we put a limited edition sticker on it and people go for it like crazy. But it is true. Some people really just like collecting for that and just chasing these crazy awesome pops. And now where they're producing so many pops, okay? Now, it's not that hard to get certain ones anymore. And I think that is another reason why people stop collecting is that just amazing feeling of going after a pop. You just you know, it's not as much anymore with these limited pieces being gone. All right guys, we've got two more reasons to get you here and both of them are really good. One of them I didn't even think of, I don't know how I didn't think of this, but one of them is a very simple reason. And this, I can really relate to this. And that is because you don't have the space. So if you look at this here, we have this lovely setup, okay? We love it here. I don't have that many here. There's probably like a couple hundred pops. They go back, you know. Fortunately, my mother has a very nice finished basement. I've said this a billion times on Pop Academy. I will say it again. So I am fortunate enough to be able to store all of my pops there. We have 1,600 pops now, okay guys? So, you know, if I didn't have that space to be bringing my pops to and storing, they're not even on boxes, they're just on shelves like this stored back and back. And it's actually pretty easy to store them because, you know, these can fit like two or three pops back. When Kathy and I started collecting, I'll show you guys a picture here, you know, we only had a couple pops. You figure, you know, make a nice little, we just wanted to fill up that window space there. That'd just be really cool. 
Never in a million years did I think we'd eventually get to this many pops. I didn't think we'd probably get to 500 pops, never mind a thousand, never mind a 1600, on our way to 2000. A lot of people don't have the storage space for these, like I'm fortunate enough to have. So that is a huge reason why people stop collecting, because they just, you know, they get to 100 pops, they have some in bins, they're not even displaying them anymore, they're just tucked away in a closet in a bin, you know, just probably rotting away in there. I can't, how could you not display your pops? Oh, it kills me. But that's a huge reason why people stop cutting their pops is just the, uh, you know, storage, the space. You need a ton of space to have these. They're not small figures. You know what I mean? They take up a good amount of space, never mind the oversized ones. Those, the oversized ones are so annoying to store, guys. Oh, I can't. That's the one thing I don't like about them. All right, guys, we have one last reason to get to. And this is, honestly, this scares me if this ever happens one day. I don't know what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to have to figure it out. But this is a big reason. I see this probably the most in the pop community, and that is from moving. So. We have a big collection like mine. Let's say for some reason I had to move to another state or something, okay? How the heck am I moving 1,600 pops? I mean, it's doable, but it's just, it's the prepping it, okay? Put them in protectors or sorters and the bubble wrap. And never mind, some of these pops are worth hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, okay? Talk about the anxiety trying to move those, whether to get them on a plane or putting them in a truck or something. A lot of people are just moving and they have to make a choice. They're just like, these gotta go and you know what? I'm just gonna sell it. It's a lot easier to sell it, have someone come pick up my collection for me, get some money and not have to worry about it. So that's a very big reason. That honestly might be one of the most common reasons why people stop collecting pops. Alrighty Academy, so that is going to wrap it up for today's video. So a little bit of a fun one. I thought that'd be something different to do. We usually just do, you know, unboxing and mystery boxes and pop hunts and stuff like that. So I figured do something a little bit different, have a little bit informative video. I just, you know, it's always fun making and gathering information. I'm like a little detective, you guys know it, you love it. But as always, thank you so much for checking us out here at Pop Academy. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below, let me know why you love pop collecting. Let me know why maybe you stopped collecting pops or if you know someone that did and why they stopped or maybe you have other reasons that I didn't list here. Let me know down below. Until next time, thanks for getting funky with me. I love you guys, bye.